Jack, it's great of you to join us. Just explain a little bit what you're trying to do. I remember there was a lot of press when Joe Budden shifted from Spotify to you for a podcast. So, so what exactly did you offer him to get him away? Yeah, we're, we're helping creators run their businesses and, and make money um, and, and do what they do best, you know, but, you know building amazing uh, uh, art for their fans and, and sharing that on, you know, on the web. And, and Patreon is this, uh, is this, you know, business platform to basically help creators run subscriptions and membership businesses uh, and get paid for their work. So what are your subscriber numbers look like right now? How fast are, are you growing and spreading the word? Well, you know, the most recent stats that we've announced are we now have over 200,000 creators that are making money on the platform. Uh, we're, you know, paying them over a billion dollars a year. Their patrons are paying them over a billion dollars a year. That's from a, a little over uh, 7 million paying patrons. Uh, and creators have earned about $2 billion cumulatively uh, through the platform. So, yeah, it's been, it's been an amazing time the last few years to watch the web really shift uh, away from this kind of, uh, you know, creators ought to be working for free. Creators ought to be giving their content away for free. And I think now people are starting to realize, oh, these are real businesses and creators ought to be making money like everybody else. And, and Jack, I mean, I guess there's uh, obviously ways that people can cut out the, the so-called middleman that exists already, like, for example, YouTube. But, but your point is that uh, stealthily or whatever, YouTube takes a much bigger cut than, than say, you will. Sure, I think you know YouTube is a is a great product for creators to find audience, but ultimately YouTube is building for advertisers. That's their customer. That's who's paying YouTube. Um, and for us, our customer is creators. We're building for creative people. We're building the business infrastructure to allow those creators to run their businesses. CRM, CMS, payments, tax calculation, everything that a creator needs to be a viable, sustainable, uh, profitable company. We're helping creators with that underlying business infrastructure as opposed to just say audience development, which there are plenty of platforms for. YouTube is great at that. Facebook is great at helping creators find audience. We're hyper-focused on providing that business infrastructure to allow creators to be successful in growing and running their businesses. So who is the biggest competitor? Is, is it a Spotify? You know, I think a lot of the distribution platforms now are, are also starting to wake up to this. People are starting to see that, uh, that creators, you know, have a lot of earnings potential. And so all the distribution platforms, whether it's Spotify or, or YouTube or Twitter, uh, you know, or Facebook, they're all building ways now for creators to, uh, to earn subscription revenue from their fans and, and actually and, and beyond to just earn money from their fans. Um, and this is awesome. This is such a great time to be a creative person. Creators have incredible leverage now that they haven't had uh, for many years because these platforms were sort of focused on, on just driving content production instead of getting creators paid. Now I think the shift that we're really starting to see is these platforms are realizing that creators need to get paid too. And so they're starting to build payments tools. Ultimately, our competitive advantage is that we are the most creator first company on the planet. Our customer is creators, not advertisers. And I think creators feel that and see that and it makes a difference in everything that we do and build. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.